What's up ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, welcome back to another episode of my Warhammer Total War playthrough and in the previous episode we basically combined the two largest factions of the Empire, myself and Marienburg, into one and uh, myself colonizing all of this which is outside of the Empire originally and Marienburg doing the same here uh, we have made a glorious empire, if I do say so myself. Very cool. Unfortunately, we are dealing with the fallout, including the negative eight to public order, etc. And the relations, etc. with many of the other factions. Uh, for a few turns. Public order here in Telbaheim is actually suffering pretty badly. I noticed that I have one follower there for public order, which I'm going to attach... And uh, what I plan to do is actually just move around this agent. Considering Sterling is doing quite well all of a sudden. Balance it out a little bit there. Now, after integrating Marienburg, we're actually making a pretty decent amount of money. Like we're making profit, which is pretty impressive to me. I'm impressed that we're actually making profit. But I do want to merge uh, some of these. Wait, why can't I merge them? Ah, uh, maybe it's got something to do with it. No, I've... Champion okay, that merged. Uh, that pistol is an outright as you dummy. Okay. Sigma I was just going to say I want to merge some of these to get them uh, ready for action as quick as possible. Because... These guys are pretty low experience. Some of them are good. Some of these higher tier units are good, but yes. mostly we got low experience stuff here. The army composition is not that great. They're not even that high tier units. And the lords are actually not that good either. Um, so what I kind of plan to do is, is to utilize them. And rather than replenishing them, I plan to kind of just, uh, you know, continue consolidating and fighting and or disbanding them. I can reach this, eh? Uh, it's really going to be next turn when we can start doing some pretty creative stuff, I suggest. But uh, look at the income now, looking good, cool. Even though we just integrated Marienburg, so I'm really enjoying this and uh, let's get straight into it. I wonder if we can just do actually do something else this episode. <laughs> like uh eliminate somebody in the north or who knows maybe chaos themselves so let's turn the speed on too fast i would really like to colonize the last remaining russian province up here uh i guess it's eastern oblast but right now it is just dominated by primarily chaos but also the the war herds of chaos and also the uh, winter tooth and so on there are just enemy threats everywhere. Death precedes your armies, great lord. Your power is incalculable. It surely rivals even that of the chaos gods. Sweet. This is definitely the age of France completed. Cool. 18 different settlements. Nice reward. Wow, that's a tremendous reward. 11k. Um, this is the furthest that I have ever progressed in this game. And uh, feeling really good about it. Praise Sigma to strengthen the Empire. Get out of my life, fool. Humbly request that you get out of my life, fool. Taking these battles uh, is definitely a good move for diplomatic relations. But I'm still trying to creep, creep my way towards uh, what could be his last province unless he's colonized. We finally seem to be killing that guy up there and that money is really appropriately timed because we've got to go sort out our country uh, these guys are stressing me out though all these enemies so the chaos I don't know where they went oh we can no that's marching stance never mind damn it we can't quite reach these guys which is upsetting I serve the hell Alrighty, we don't have walls here. But that stack is pretty pathetic. 
They can't reach our capital over here. Um, alrighty, let's focus on domestic stuff in regions where the public order is garbage. That's what I'm going to prioritize. So, yeah, that's pretty bad. Negative 10. Jeez. Um, I could move the garrison back to here. That will help out. My journey begins. Yep, that helps out the public order there. Negative 11 is not good. Uh, but that is positive. So it's 14 turns before a revolt. We will stabilize that. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. It's going to have to be fine. Uh, okay. None of those are urgent priority. Now here, let's get a tap room... And I like the trading resources, if possible. Guardhouse. It's between the trading resource and the weaving house. I mean, honestly, the uh, weaving house provides a lot more money. 500, dude. But I don't know exactly what furs do, but they're cooler. Let's get those furs, baby. Production. Feels good, man. Tap room, weaving house, guard house. Yep, I like that. So here we'll get a weaving house and the guard building. We still have so much money. Wait, did I get a whole nother decimal point? Like more than I thought? Because damn, we're at 85,000. We are so rich, jeez. So here, I kind of want the clay pit, but I want the I want the tap room building as well. Well, hang on, this is pretty stable due to this plus ten public order. We don't need a tap room in this province, which is pretty cool. Come to think of things, cool. Here we do. Tap room. Woodsman stuff, weaving house, garrison building. That's a unique building because of the work with the wood, but we don't need it. So it's something I reckon something about capacity. You know what? I should have left. The, I should have left the bloody wizards building in that one province. That's the one that I regret. Damn it! Noobed it up. Yep. There's one building left over. It should have been the wizard's one. It's so expensive, lol. Last episode, I deleted everything here, but one building I should have kept, in my opinion. Uh, it's fine, though. Not too worried about it. It's between this tier or that tier, but uh, let's actually leave it for now. So is that everything? Let's quickly go through them all. Trying to sort out the public order. We've got so much money, dude. That mission, I think it was that mission, gave us so much money. It feels good. Just bloody build everything. Those buildings are really expensive. I prefer... That is everything. Cool. I prefer to actually bring my uh, architect around once we're uh, kind of done in the north, if possible. Still got 50k, sweet. Alrighty, now what can we actually do with our military? Like, you. He's not that tough. He's only rank 8. Let's smash this guy. He might be able to retreat. Looks like he can't. What the balls? Holy crap. Okay, we can catch him with this stack. That guy retreated really far. Jeez, man. Can you calm down? Treating around the whole world. Ah, uh, this might be the moment, man. There's not that many threats. I thought there were more than this. I hope they're not ambushing or something. This might be the moment to where we uh, go for the colonizing of Eastern Oblast. And uh, then hopefully 
if we can like eliminate this faction i hope that's faction destroyed i think they start with two stacks but i wouldn't be surprised if marienburg got Sigma one of them enemy killed oh it's not faction destroyed damn it all right i am the supreme patriarch yeah the dream is that there's nothing in the north the, the that horde we're fighting is dead and then it's just chaos and we can just basically hold him here with like two or three stacks higher tier units and then we can actually for once in my life yes, my lord. our but we could officially important. say that our objectives have been Show completed and we can actually move out to like colonize some of these regions kill people that would be interesting like killing these frenchies expanding suffering quite some unrest here and we're not doing all that much to actually improve the unrest without a garrison i need a tap room in this province it seems my knowledge is yours the nation calls so hang on Crossbones. Hmm, I thought for a second that these guys were stuck, but they're certainly not. So they can hit that, perhaps, but that has walls on it. It should be okay. Yep, let's just get as uh, close up into this gr guy's grill as possible. That's what I'm going to decide to do. Make sure that we're in reinforcement range. Uh, I'm going to use one stack to garrison Kislev. So that's one way to help out the public order. And uh, let's see what kind of vision I can provide here. Definitely going to consider going for this, but the Chaos Corruption here is at... Jeez, 82%. So that's not good. Volkmar is actually our Arc Collector. I should bring him up into that region as well. Yes, I should. Upgrade the walls here. I will marshal the bed. And we've done that this turn, so I think that's it. There's a lot to manage each turn nowadays. I'm pretty proud of myself, guys. I, uh... Ooh. Okay, that's what these guys were for. It's what these guys were for, is to fight these battles. Now, this stack is quite weak. He's got good order resolve there. Uh, this stack has much more scary units. I mean, I'm not going to fight it, am I? We could retreat. Uh, armor piercing damage, eh? These guys are kind of expendable. So the idea was that we'd weaken them here and then, you know, uh, come in and finish them off with one of our other stacks. So good luck, my Marienburg remnant troops. Valiant defeat. Wow. There's not many battles that we've lost, eh? Uh, oh! that was valiant though i would say that that was a wild success by the looks of things the chaos got brutalized fantastic i've never been so happy to get defeated i don't think he can even push the advan the so-called advantage i wouldn't call it an advantage because he got wrecked nice those guys did their job now i definitely plan to consolidate them um, hopefully we didn't lose, like, items or anything there. I didn't actually consider that. <gasps> What's going on? Can you feel it? From the north it comes. The tendrils of chaos spread south, tainting the lands. And with it, the warriors of chaos march. We must ready ourselves for war is coming but who has brought the warring tribes together what manner of champion holds that power oblivion has come my lord Archeon, the ever-chosen lord of the end times, has re-entered the world. With him marches a chaos host numberless in size. Prepare yourself for the coming apocalypse. 
house invasion here we go oh my goodness did you see that demon yeah we lost an armor that's a common piece no no big deal i i didn't consider that actually getting defeated you can lose items but it didn't seem to be an issue for us troll country is being raided ah oh, that's not good uh all right how strong can i find the cow section how strong are they okay they're not strong in number True servant of Sigma. i think we've been doing a really good job guys but it will be interesting to see actually the rank you know of that lord what does the emperor bid it's probably got like legendary weapons and things that we don't have because they've done such a bad job at completing our quests which was uh, not part of the plan but it just worked out that way yeah i might as well upgrade this even though i don't plan to on using him um let's take this chaos unit out so i did plan to push up and hold here but i mean it's uh it's a hard choice because I'm finding it difficult to like decide if that's a good choice or not. Because the, the 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 garrison will be so bad, but the downside of not doing that is that they can flood through and hit up here or hit here and hit here. I kind of like the one choke point, I so I think I am actually going to go that way. Protector of the weak. No, you. Bring me to my men. I'm wondering, can we reach in with anybody? The men. Nope. Summon the elector counts. It is time. By Sigma's right. So, uh, funnily enough, guys, I think it's going to come down to one big oh, order resolve. <laughs> oh, look at this. We we replenish in the sea. Sigma but do we replenish in that us. sea? Oh, cool. I obviously don't know much about Going the naval on. stuff, guys, but we own the sea here. So we were able to replenish in the sea. I like that. I never realized that was the case. Uh, back up to 6k per turn. And I plan to make a lot more than that as we um, kind of c delete those units, actually, quite frankly. But, I mean, this is a good time to hire more troops. Blood feud, sick. Rank 10, sick. Oh, this guy's skilled poorly, though. I'm looking at lords who, uh, um, you know, we've already had in the past. <sighs> I'm trying to upgrade Midland to hire some demigriffs. Oh, man. I'm not sure we're going to have the higher tier units that I want out here on the battlefront. Uh, but we may have overwhelming numbers, though. So, we'll see. Oh, I forgot to turn the movement off. Alright, there we go. That stack's dead, even though it's just one lord. It's important to take them out so that they don't encamp and, like, heal up and recruit or anything like that. That's good. Let's get this guy out of this uh, marsh or something where he's suffering attrition. On march. Now, Sigma there's no need Arch having Lector. each of these guys. Arch Lector. So I'm going to take all of the equipment off. A rare item is good, man. Disband this guy. Raise Sigma. Do some more consolidating. So. I don't want no spearmen nowadays. I don't want no wounded phalagellant. This guy is rank one, man. That's so bad. So I'm I'm thinking in terms of keeping higher tier units. Outriders with grenade launchers, <laughs> lol. I think that's a pretty good unit. 
I'm not sure. I think Outriders are actually better than Empire Knights. Like, I'm not saying objectively as a unit. I'm saying for us. Because, like, I'd be willing to have some Outriders, but not really Empire Knights. I kind of feel like Empire Knights are redundant for us if I hire some Demigriffs or something like that. Uh, so, the stack has some higher tier units that we could try to distribute and uh, could have an effect and help us against the baddie who's upcoming. Now I'm thinking about like we've got walls everywhere. The what if I just go for an 80% ambush here yes. in the trees and Do hopefully this guy go. or that guy moves out of position. I will the uh, that might be the way to go. This guy I plan to just run up here. Um, it was a good move to go at sea. I didn't realize there's a there's a river there to pass which was taking all of our movement. So let's go at sea. It's even a better idea than I thought because uh, we apparently heal. I'm not yes. going to act like I knew we were going to heal but Apparently we're going to heal Grand if we... By the comet. I hope I don't regret this, guys. We're going to be colonizing. Yes, that will do. And I'm going to rush up here to help order. sort out the chaos corruption with our Arclector. This guy has a big effect. His, o his own self. We're getting negative four chaos corruption now in this region. Which is good. The Empire. And, uh, yeah, if, if I can deal with... Oh, we can get Quicksilver as a mount. I don't know what Quicksilver is, but it's he's a war horse. Fine, let's do it on Balthazar. Cool. Um, yes, my lord. If I can deal with this, I'm going to force March the Emperor out here to try and fight that Chaos Horde. I'm going to deploy here. And I'm interested to see... Okay. That looks pretty good for public order. Now, what's going on in these provinces that we took over? Wow. Not very good, but they're going to change to the positive big time. Some of them are not looking so good. Welcome, men of the Empire. Yeah, I wonder why the Storm faction doesn't go colonize. He's only got one province. Seems a bit dumb. The AI is not the smartest there. There's no nobody threatening him. Uh, alrighty. Now, the one thing that I'm regretting, guys, is that I wish I was recruiting higher tier units at this point. So, should we just go do it with Toddbringer or our? Uh, Engineer, why don't we go do it with Toddbringer? So where can we get some higher team units? I can build, um, do we have an armory? Yes. So I can build swordsmen in that province, which take yes. two turns. Great swordsmen, rather, which are pretty significant. What about Talibleheim? What can I build here? We can build demigriffs here, but I don't actually want to. We can build some, some artillery here. So I think... By the comet! Let's just calls. get some, uh, oh jeez man, negative 20. Two turns before rebellion. Alright, I guess we're going to be keeping these guys around just to garrison, lol. To the provinces. Because that's not very good. Now we have a militiaman on Toddbringer. Uh, yep. It's going to take two turns. They start at rank four. That's pretty good. Cool. So at least this, these are some higher tier units that we can bring out to the battlefront. Hopefully in time to make a difference. Uh, yeah, I mean, maybe I'm overthinking things. Maybe we should just get some demographs that won't be at the maximum level. It seems a shame. They'll be at rank four. I'm going to get some. Marshal the men. Yeah. And we're going for halberdiers. So these one is anti infantry and one is anti large. One has a shield. Oh, I actually didn't realize that. This, the Demigriff Knights with spears have a shield. Oh. Well, I think I like the halberds more, though. Anti-large. They take three turns. Wow. 
anti-large cavalry is is pretty cool and i've seen uh i've seen like a dedicated youtube uh, video about like op units i'm not sure if they've nerfed them or anything like that but a lot of people Remember suggest the that the uh that particular unit is very strong the one with halberds because it's one of the only cavalry that smashes other large units uh but it's just such a powerful unit it does the job against infantry as well and their their armor piercing as well so they're just a sick unit i have never really used them myself but uh i i really like them and i'm looking forward to using some in battle they're really good against chaos guys with the armor piercing I wonder if that lord, that that demon lord that we saw, I wonder if he is, uh, what's the deal guy, defensive alliance, uh, I can't, man, here's the thing, I, I can't, uh, I'll do trade with you, I can't expand into the mountains, man, but I can expand into you, lol, uh, I kind of plan, uh oh, warhead dudes, Oh no, he's preventing my colonizing stack from actually uh, replenishing. Jeez, that's bad. Ambush foiled. 80%, are you serious? That's annoying. Oh, this guy kind of looks out of position still though. Okay, a rebellion imminent southern. Yeah, that's down here. Ah, uh, these guys did not replenish. How awkward. As you say. Our odds are really good here, guys, but I feel like we're going to lose some units. I can't retreat. Oh. Oh. Well, I've got no choice then. Yeah. So that sucked. It's mostly just Empire Knights, which is upsetting. That, ah, uh, that, that really, uh... There's no point in letting that really hurt me, my feelings. But um, that's that's that was pretty lame. That was pretty damn lame. Can I catch him? I can't bloody reach him. I can't reach him. Shoot. All right, I'm wondering if we move this garrison just in. Oh wow, this guy can march so far. Holy balls. He must have units that increase, like, movement, marching range or something. Yeah. Um, you are gonna go into Kislev. To help with the public order. And that's only helped a very small amount. This is a good place for a tap room, but it's going to take four turns. I don't think we will ever get there, but uh, that's all right. Can deal with a rebellion. It's no big deal. Um, so I guess let's once again try to creep up here and go for the ambush. Because it's all about that guy being out of position, I suggest. If he's out of position, then that's good. Yep, alright, this guy... Ugh, I'm a little bit worried, actually, about... Maybe I should go to my own territory. Let us move. Take up the pace. I think I can get uphill oh. here and not suffer attrition. Sweet. The Empire. Not the worst move ever. But I do plan to go take out Winter Tooth. The dwarves are very friendly, apparently, so why don't we get a defensive alliance with him? He's a pretty strong faction, I reckon. Whoa, yeah. Good call. Defensive alliance with him and military access, so we can walk through all of his mountain provinces and, and uh, replenish. Wow, we're making 1,200. 1,200, oh guys. 12,500 per turn. That's pretty sweet. Here, we need a... No, we got a tap room. That's all good. Um, what do we need here? Go for that building. G 
Jeez, we are blowing through our money, though. Got a lot of money. I should try to keep a particular focus on the economic buildings. Whoa, we really are blowing through our money. Alrighty. Cool. This is the situation's got me nervous though, dude. How many turns? Where were they? Like here maybe? Jeez. Uh this is scary and risky, but I'm gonna creep up. We're suffering attrition anyway. Moving. Screw it, dude. I don't see them. I hope I don't regret that. Ah! Mistakes were made. Let's cancel a building. Cancel that and colonize this. We're so us. threatened here. That's what's got me worried. <sighs> Jeez, we're really threatened. We can now pass feast stag. Build that up. I am ready. Are you? To the provinces. Yes, my lord. Onward. Very well. Let's do halberdiers. They finish in one turn. I'm going to march them out here to the battlefront. Whew. Alrighty, I'm doing my best. I'm trying to resolve this situation march out here like force march resolve the unrest situation you know what screw it stand out let the revolt happen it should be in Kislev which is the capital hit it up and move out next turn that will actually help public order if we fight this revolt wow look at that it's a chaos revolt because of the corruption is so high <gasps> oh jeez oh jeez oh jeez okay all right, we might lose a province or two. <laughs> we might lose a, a city or two. Ah, uh, okay. Ulstermark seems to be fighting a, 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 a horde faction that I wasn't at war with, but I, I perhaps didn't discover. That might be how he had his bu building burnt down. Looks like Norsica actually... Yay! Ambush successful this time. I think Norsica um, recolonized yet another uh, region. Okay, that guy should be dead. Winter Tooth. Or at least off of our lands. Oh man, chaos is coming. Military Alliance, yeah, I don't want to help you in offensive wars, buddy. Sorry. Whoa, this guy's like allied to everybody. They all love each other, I guess. No, sorry, mate. Welcome, brothers. From across the gray mountains. I mean, they all like us. I kind of want to be friends with other human factions, but I think we're supposed to kill them. I don't know. Hey, who's that? There's another faction in the game. Interesting, dude. Never seen that before. The one to the left. This is interesting stuff, man. Okay, rebellion. Nice. We finished our uh, stuff for Demigris just before we uh oh we can spend 1500 on six public order all provinces the dream the dream nice we need that public order bonus oh another entertainer bailiff whoa whoa the traits and followers okay jeez oh, don't don't raid me dude don't raid me. What does the Emperor bid? Should be able to kill this rebellion with ease. Get deaded. Those are incredibly low tier units. Alright. Yeah, I think uh, we have to abandon this. We're wounded. We have to abandon it. See, I, I was just doing a little bit of a cheeky gamble, you know, hoping that that um we could get up here and replenish before they came but yeah not gonna happen by the looks of things so let's pull back and we'll probably end up abandoning this as well but they can't reach here next turn if we finish even that one that gives us walls at least so uh geez 
We can still kind of choke point him though, I think, right? Jeez, he's gonna be able to reach me here. God dang it, dude. Um, let's just... Force March into our territory to replenish. Move Regular March into our territory to replenish. And uh, bolster up our army here. Ever onward, moving out. I will go. And this guy we're gonna disband because he's useless. Summon the Elector Counts. Rank 25. So I saw a legendary lord, guys, that the uh get some attack on him. This guy here is a legendary lord of chaos. He's one of the playable lords. Oh, you can't see him because of his encampment stance. Uh where is he? That guy. Jeez, he's ranked 21. That's what I wanted to check. Oh wow, that's another legendary lord. Two two lords ranked 21. Oh man, that's pretty highly ranked. I mean, um, our lord emperor is is highly ranked. Thank goodness. But the issue is, it's just him. It's just him. If we look at Balthazar, he's 14. Volkmar's 11. I mean, definitely not bad. But at the same time, not that great. So Kislev is looking more stable thanks to that extra feast egg uh, that we got. That was great. Really like to see that. Yeah, and why don't we force march him into this province? I like that idea. I don't think they can reach it. I hope not. Maybe they can. Uh, if he dies, it's not the end of the world. As long as he puts up a good fight. Alright, what kind of uh, technology do we want? We're going to get to a point where we just do whatever. We do have some great swords. I think we are going to get to a point where we just throw it in whatever because we kind of have everything. Armor for all infantry except great swords. That's not bad. Upkeep for Reichsguard. Hmm, we don't actually have that many Empire Knights or Reichsguard. Hmm. These ones are kind of... You know what? I don't really care. Let's go for that one. Global recruitment, capacity, etc. I think I'm already at that point where I actually don't uh, completely care about technology. Cool. He's got an ability that he can activate for extra... To give extra leadership to dudes. Sigma's will. Okay, so we're in the same kind of situation, right? Where if we... Step to it. I should just move, like, there. Actually, how strong is Winter Tooth? They're really weak. Yes, my lord. Ah, yeah, screw Winter Tooth, guys. Screw them. Right. For now. Let Let's just march out to actually help. He's ranked 22. He's higher ranked than uh, their legendary lords. Reich Marshal Marcus, the despiser of chaos, he can impact this game big time. Let's get Boris some experience. I'm glad that he's in range. Get his greatswords some experience. Boris looks like a badass with his feathers on his helmet. I like that. And that way, the Emperor is freed up to be able to force much out. Dude, I think we outnumber him big time. Do you know what I'm saying? I like that idea. Bring Marcus out here as well. Deal with these boogers. Going for the lightning strike here, but the um, helping with the Chaos Corruption, that definitely has an effect. Okay, bring these great swords out to the front. Bring these halberdiers out to the front. Both of which have some experience, and uh, we're building some demigriffs, which, quite frankly, might not have uh, get there in time to impact the game. But that's all good. I think this is probably where the game's going to get its hardest, guys. Like, you know, uh, maybe hardest is not the correct phrase. I, I don't know if you guys know exactly what I'm saying, but what I mean is if we survive this point... It might just be smooth sailing, and we can kind of just dash around the rest of the world. Um, 
Oh, the events of negative eight have gone away, it seems. And we have the event of plus six. Oh, that's what I thought. Hang on. What's going on? I thought we got the extra, extra feast egg. It might be up here. There it is. Yeah, it's up here. But it doesn't seem to show here for some reason, but that's all right. So we can get a kind of true gauge. Well, it's not really a true gauge, but we're stable. We're stable for now in those regions. And um, I guess that means that we can confederate another faction, which I won't do. Wait, what? Confederate is not an available option. Welcome, my <gasps> countrymen. Why? Oh, no. Welcome, my countrymen. Hmm. Okay, don't go crazy. There might be a reason for that. I did plan, I mean, at least Avaland, guys. That That's the dream, right? Like, I planned all this out. Greetings. Who seeks my wise counsel? Get some trade. I should have done this some time ago. These guys all love us because of uh, our actions Amazing. to the chaos. They're like, wow, the Empire is such a badass. He's saving the world from the apocalypse. Trade. Ooh. This guy's whole army is dead. <gasps> Become facile! Become facile! That's the dream. That's what I want to see. <gasps> That's what I want to see. Yeah, cool. Diplo vassalizer guy who's on the brink of destruction. Sick! And that saved him from that war. Yay! That's badass, guys. I don't know if you guys are as nerdy as I am about that, but the guy liked us in terms of greenliness because of our actions. So he's feeling good about us, and then his whole army was dead, and he's like, screw it, we'll just become your vassal. This is not even a member of the Empire that we just Diplo annexed. I love it. So now we're rooting for the uh, Border Princes, and because our relations are good... So there's something I learned the hard way about this game, guys, which kind of uh, upset me. And your subjects in this game are completely disloyal. Not like, uh, I guess you would say that they are in, um, you know, uh, EU4. In this game... It basically, after 10 turns, they can cancel their um, uh, vassalage without losing uh, reliability. After 10 turns, if they don't like you, they will just cancel it by attacking you. Even if they're much weaker than you, they have a tendency to just do it. And that's from my experience. So if you can vassal a guy, but he's actually happy with you... Which, of course, is not going to be the case, right? If you, uh, you know, attack them and kill them and force them to be your vessel. Um, then they will remain your vessel. So this guy should remain our vessel because he basically loves us. In fact, it actually improves relations further. But, uh, yeah. So I'm really happy about that. That's what I was trying to do with Kislev. But I guess we're just so powerful now that we, we pull more weight in that regard. Yeah, I'm definitely going to look out for the same opportunity with these... Um, the real dream, guys, honestly, like, that's not, that was cool, and I like it, and it's a good move, but that's not the real dream, to be fair, because we can come down here and just take over the land. The real dream is doing it to, like, one of these dwarven factions, uh, because we cannot actually own their territory. If you can diplo vassalize a dwarven faction, or, like, whatever, that, that is really cool. Speak, I will hear you now. Be warned, my mood is dark who owns a territory that you don't own so he actually wants peace for the longest time he wouldn't peace out um we have literally no guys going up there so I, i'll swing back and kill him but I, we're not going to be doing it in the next 10 turns let's just peace him out fine screw it stop him from raiding our land and stuff i don't have anybody going for him he's going to colonize whether we like it or not so this got her raised to the ground, pretty, uh, to be expected. We're making 14k a turn. That's pretty cool. Public order's doing nice all over the show. We now have walls here. Uh, that's good. I think we're going to try hold it here, even though, let's look at the garrison. Garrison's pretty weak. Four spearmen, two swordsmen, uh, two crossbowmen, but it's better than nothing. I'm going to try hold them here. And what should we build as our first building? We don't have that many options, so let's just go for the weaving house. Ready. Just the now, empire. I'm going to keep him inside the fort, because I don't mind that much if he dies. If we ever lose a battle here, guys, then the, the guy inside the fort cannot escape. He can't retreat. 
So I'll keep this lore that we're not that into. Because I'd be really gutted if Balthazar died, for example. Um, no scum. What does the Emperor bid? This is the Emperor's stack, sweet. It is time. We're not doing much recruiting. Okay, so let's let's go do some economic stuff first then. I'm happy to do that. Go around each of our provinces, focusing on public orders. Good man, it's good all over thanks to that event we got. I love it. So this is going to be our demigriff building province. So let's build that up so we can finally build the epic demigriffs with tons of experience. That's what I like to see. Yeah, that's good for now. All right. We suffer attrition here. Hmm. Maybe I should leave this. Yes. Wise indeed. Nah. We can hold it. Sigma guides my steps. This is wise. Agreed. Yes, my lord. All right. Who needs infantry? They both need infantry. We've got great swordsmen coming as well. Take up the pace. Sigma compels us. We march. Moving on. So, I, see no I don't want to be suffering attrition here, but let's kind of get as close as possible. Why don't we actually do just a Kajaz ambush out in open terrain? Because he might misjudge the situation if he doesn't see us. So I don't want to walk out and suffer attrition and we can't encamp, so why don't we do that? Looks like we're going to be replenished either way, so let's um, force march all the way up here. There, these provinces all appear to be safe. Cool, man. Similar situation here. So it's going to be interesting to see what he can do in one turn. Because if he can't do something in one turn, we've got just legions descending upon him, don't we? Alrighty. Well, I'm wondering where's a good place to deploy... Yeah, well, hang on. Can we not... Can we not deploy... Yeah, Confederation. There we go. Cool. It's back. They had me nervous for a second, so we can still confederate them. That's great. Um, and I think Avalon's going to be the next guy to do it. Uh, nice. He colonized all of Vesenland. He's finally at peace. He's finally at peace. So hopefully he will colonize this and this uh, in the meantime. And uh, why don't we well and truly sort out our public order this time around, you know, so that... Uh, Next time we confederate, it's not an issue because we're doing it so well. Um, well, guys, I'm actually going to be calling the episode here. There's very few threats to us. It's all going to come down to this region here. We can confederate dudes. We diplo vassalize a dude, which I feel really good about. And uh, he actually gives us money. He gives us 1,100. And if he becomes more powerful, he gives us more tribute. But, of course, he is our ally who will assist us in any offensive war. And we can ask him to go move his troops around that's really cool and uh one last thing we've got some a, the highest tier unit that quite frankly i've like ever had a really high tier unit which in a few turns can also come out and assist the battle feels good man hope you guys are enjoying this thank you very much for watching and uh that's going to be it for this episode i'm looking forward to the next episode where we're going to have a big clash with uh the highest level with epic items that we don't even have, uh, unique lords. Um, and I think there's more to come. There's still the faction leader, which we haven't seen, and there's still uh, that that big demon prince, or whatever, uh, demon lord, I don't know who it is. Uh, but they'll be in the next episode, probably, or the one after that. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.